Question three then from the 2016 Higher Maths Paper 1. Recurrence relation, four marks this time. Three little parts, one, one and two. First part simply says, what's the value of the fourth term? Given that, it states here, the third term is six. Well, this recurrence relation doesn't tell you what any particular term is. It only tells you what the next term is. Well, that's ideal. If I want the fourth term, I need to know the third term, and there it is. And this says the following term will be one third of the preceding term, which was six, and then add ten. So that means you've got a third of six, which is two, and two plus ten is twelve, and that's your mark. Now, part B for one mark. Explain why this sequence approaches a limit as n tends to infinity. Now, these terms go on and on and on forever. Does it ever level off? And yes, it will, if you're multiplying by a proper fraction, which will make these terms get smaller. Because remember, you're always going to be adding 10. So if that was also staying the same, like 1 times it, it would just get bigger and bigger. So it has to be a proper fraction. Not just a fraction, because a fraction would be something like 3 up and 2. So you'd have to write a statement that says that a limit exists as that coefficient is a proper fraction, but state it either as it's between negative 1 and 1, or you can say as the absolute value of it is less than 1, you know, just like the size of a vector, for instance, ignoring positive or negative. However, it also says on this occasion, just accept that. Now, this recurrence relation is actually called a linear recurrence relation because it takes a linear form. It's like the equation of a line. Y equals mx plus c. But that's the only type you do in the higher. But there are plenty, plenty of other forms of recurrence relations. And what it's suggesting here is, since it says in the marking scheme on this occasion, that means in future occasions that wouldn't be sufficient. And you'd have to also put in the qualification that this limit exists Yes, because you're multiplying this term because the coefficient of the linear term is a proper fraction, but also because it is just a linear recurrence relation, as it's a proper fraction and it is a linear, so that's even more you meant to write in future, recurrence relation. That gets the second mark, although that's for future use, I presume. This is the statement that would have got this mark I should have put just now. And part C, so what is this limit for two marks? Well, there's two ways you could work it out. You could say it approaches a limit when whatever you put in results in the same answer. So if you put in some number L, you get out the same number. So you've stalled, you're at a fixed point, you've reached your limit, it's going nowhere else. And then proceed to solve that equation. If you're doing it this way, that would be the first of these two marks. And then finding the value would be the second mark. So taking that third away from this whole one means you've got two thirds of L is equal to 10. Then you can either do 10 divided by two thirds or simply take that across and say times the three divided by the two, which means L is 15 for the second mark. Or you could jump in with the formula. I'll let you use that. That formula L equals B over one minus A. Okay, and I'll just put that in little inverted commas because there's no mentions of A's or B's anywhere. It is a convention though. If you were just to state that in its own, you wouldn't get this first mark. You won't get that first mark until you've said what those things stand for. B being the number that's added and A being that coefficient. That would get you the first mark. And then the second mark come from just doing the arithmetic, whichever way you wanted. Take away a third, giving you two thirds, and then divide them by two thirds, or just saying I'll simplify that complex fraction by multiplying everything by three. So I've got 30 over three, ooh, three minus one, 30 over 2, which is 15, and there's the second mark. So the marks are still coming in easy by the third question, apart from this little bit they're trying to throw in now. You don't want to be forgetting that in future.